good afternoon. I am hitting up the Mount Muskoko Trail here in Colorado Springs. It's like that four miles round trip, about 1,200 feet again. I just uh, wanted something to test out my new lens, the Sony 20 to 70. Kind of compare it to my uh, 24 to 70 f 2.8. Well, you know, it's a little bit wider, quite a bit lighter than my 24 to 70. So this will probably end up being my main mountain lens now. But yeah, let me know. Let me know what you think about how the footage looks. Hopefully about the same, I think. Probably. All right, let's keep heading up the mountain. This is a good example of why 20 mil is nice because you just a little bit more than 24. I do have active stabilization on the camera. I'm using my FX3 right now because my uh, A7 IV is on its way to Michigan with my wife. She's gonna do some maternity photos for her sister. But this is a good example of why 20 mil is nice. You can see just a little bit more of the canyon down here. I do like that. Okay, let's keep, keep rolling. Got some snow maybe blowing in, so I gotta be, gotta be quick. I think I'm going up there somewhere. I'm not entirely sure, I haven't checked the map yet. So far I'm uh, liking, liking this lens for like one specific reason in that I can set up my tripod and I don't have to put the lens over one of the legs, <laughs> if that makes sense. Because it's a lot wider, so like, if I put it here and the lens is coming towards me, then my tripod might tip over a little bit. So I'm liking that I don't really have to worry too much about that with this one. So far a trail, after I kind of came around and I'm on the south side of the mountain, not really any snow anymore, which is nice. Great views of Cheyenne Mountain over there and of the city. Whew, I'm tired though. <laughs> I'm a little bit sick, so I'm feeling that. Well, as far as I can tell, I'm going up there. So I still have a decent amount of elevation gain. Feeling pretty good though. Haven't had lunch yet, but I got some good roll bars and some almonds. I'll be fine. Thank you. 
think I'm almost to the summit. Looks like there's still some snow over towards Mount Rosa. Still some snow coming down. But this hasn't been too bad. A couple of icy rocky bits. So that's about it. A very well, well maintained trail. I think it's pretty popular in Colorado Springs. Oh, <laughs> speak of the devil. Snow's coming down just a little teeny bit. That way. Thank you, red sign. Well, it is looking like this is the summit of Mount Muskoko, if that's how you pronounce it. Lovely. Lovely view from up here. <laughs> nice. I'm definitely a little bit tired coming up, but that's because I'm a little bit sick and out of shape because it's March. <laughs> but lovely. Nice. This would be a great summer hike. Also a great March hike. Not too bad on the ice or the snow. I did, you know, I'm glad I brought spikes. Snow's coming down a little bit more, but still not too bad, still plenty of visibility. Thoughts so far on the 20 to 70, I am very much enjoying it. I love how much lighter it is than the 24 to 70. I love how much you know shorter and smaller it is. I love having just a little bit extra. <laughs> There's definitely been some shots where I've used that 20 mil instead of, you know, to get a little bit more in the frame, be able to see the tops of the mountains in the background, plus the trail or a trail on the side, mountains on the side. So that's been super nice. Focus seems great, same as any, you know, Sony lens lately. And yeah, just a really solid so far, you know, for my first day of having it, I got it yesterday. Today is uh, March 2nd. So yeah, I got it yesterday from the local camera store here and very uh, <laughs> excited to be using it moving forward. Whew. I'm gonna have a snack and kind of just hang out on the top here, get some views. It's 157, so it took me a little bit, maybe about an hour to get up here, maybe a little bit less, I don't remember. Yeah, I'll just kind of have a snack and enjoy the views. You didn't think I'd bring only one camera with me. I brought the A1 up, of course.
Okay, got a little bit of sun for a little bit. That was lovely. I swapped the uh, 20 to 70 over to the A1 and got some photos as well. So I'll uh, drop a couple things in there. Drop a couple photos. Took a couple video clips with my A1. And yeah, I'm feeling pretty good. But I've been up here for a while and it's uh, time to head down. So let's pack up and do that. Heading down, up on the ridge, nice. Well, I'm just heading back down to the car. I'm almost back down. So I'll kind of go over some of my thoughts on the 20 to 70. Yeah, it's not F2.8. Yeah, it doesn't have image stabilization built in, but I love the size. I love the weight. I love the balance, how it's kind of balanced closer to the camera body. I love the price, how it's half the price of the 24 to 70 F2.8 GM. So, you know, for all of those things, I can definitely sacrifice a stop of light compared to the 20, 24 to 70. But yeah, so I'm, I'm very impressed with it and very happy. Let me, uh, let me know if you have any questions on it or you don't want any of more of my impressions, but I'm very impressed. I think it's gonna have a great spot in my bag. So thanks for hanging out. I don't know how long this is gonna be. And yeah. I'll see you in the next one. Ah, there's a tree. <laughs> see you in the next one.